this is Mac from Southern Blooms Florida Plant Nursery. Today we're going to be on our second educational vlog in regard to propagating plumeria. Today we're going to talk about the cuttings, uh, callusing, watering, and the soil we're going to need to have good plumeria growing for this summer. So let's get to it. Springtime is the very best time to take cuttings and start propagating your plumeria. We have one here to show you what they should look like when you do take a cutting. The cutting should be roughly about 12 to 14 inches, uh, depending on variety. This one you see here, we have a, a Kanoa Sunrise. What you want to do with this cutting too, once you take a cutting into the hardwood of the tree, not up at the top where there's a green area, but the hardwood is you want to take that cutting and you want to set it in a shaded area for about seven days. What that does is it helps the cutting uh, bottom will callus out or what they call hardening off um, and that will help prevent as you're planting it uh, root, a root rot. Um, you want to take this cutting here after seven days and place it in a good well draining soil uh, that has a lot of uh, compost uh, bark in it so that it will drain out well. So after seven days, you want to take this cutting and you only want to put it into the soil up to about three inches. So what we do here at Southern Blooms is we'll take and we'll put this in the soil, make it, make sure that it's firm so that the cutting doesn't move back and forth. And we want to take and we just kind of push it down a little bit to hold that, that stem really tight around the soil. Now without having any foliage and there's no roots, there's no real reason to water this cutting initially. You don't want to rot this cutting. Even though you have well draining soil, if you're watering it every day, there's the potential to rot that stem. So what you want to look for that would be indicative of new root growth would be the new foliage that comes out of the tips. It will get kind of a wet look on the ends here. Uh, then you will start seeing new leaflets, sometimes even flowers, before the leaflets on these tips. That will tell you that that callus part of the stem is starting to root out in the soil. Uh, then you can start to water at least one day a week, but very lightly. Again, making sure you have well draining soil and that the water goes out of the weep holes in the bottom of the pot. As the stem begins to, to grow, uh, you're going to see more foliage come out. That's indicative of more root growth, which then you can bump up your watering to like two days a week. Once you do see more foliage, then you can move that cutting out to the full sun. As this stem begins to grow, you're going to see more branching. Um, you're going to see root growth coming out of the bottom of the weep holes, which would say, hey, let's go start watering two to three more times a week because the plant's in full sun. Uh, now to know when the plant is ready to be either repotted into a bigger pot or into the ground, um, if you find a place in your landscape that you really want one of these specimens, um, you want to make sure that all of those roots are coming out of all the root holes. Um, and when you do that, um, then it's time to transplant into either a bigger pot or in the ground. Once they're in the ground, they basically would only take once a week watering uh, because they are very drought tolerant. Or if you pot them into a bigger pot, like say on a patio or a lanai, um, you would definitely want to water at least twice a week. Um, and by doing that, uh, it'll ensure you great success on growing um, and having beautiful plumeria in your yard.